So today we're going to be speaking about how to create, edit e-com ads at scale. And now this is a very important topic for those of you guys who are using Glorify. You know, we've got a wealth of features inside of Glorify to help you accomplish this. But for tone setting, we just need to make sure that we get context like locked in as well, as in, you know, what's important about image ads per se. You can actually create video ads on Glorify as well. And we are also going to be rolling out animation very soon. But in the context of this webinar, we're specifically speaking about image ads because it's a very specific strategy and it requires, you know, specific expertise, understanding to optimize it in a way that has impact. And that's what we're going to be speaking about today. Um, you know, there's different image sizes, as you guys know, across all the different platforms that we advertise on. We've been doing advertising for Glorify. I've worked with e-commerce brands in the past where we've done run ads and there's only so much real estate that you can pack in the most important and critical information. So based on that, you know, you need to be prepared. Yeah, we can get started. Cool. So quick agenda breakdown. We have today introduction to e-com ads. I just covered that top e-com display ads inspiration. We're going to run through them in a moment, how to repurpose scale your advert ads using specifically Glorify's batch processing system, which allows you to do this super efficiently and then selling e-com ad packs on Glorify's template marketplace. For those of you guys who want to create templates and earn passive income. Some of our users are earning multiple sources of income through templates sales, or let's call it one source of income by multiple sales across different templates. And by the way, we've just noticed just for people's information that people sell better with in the template marketplace when they list free templates, because through the listing of free templates, new users come and discover us through our SEO. They discover that they click on a template, they sign up, they purchase, you get that sale recurring if it's a subscription. And if we're running a lifetime sale at the time, it will be a one-time high, you know, high ticket cost at 30% value. Really, really good for you guys. You know, based on that. Let's go to the next part. So we want to talk about e-com ad inspirations. Now, the number one place I like to go to for e-com ad inspiration is, of course, no doubt, e-com ad library. It gives you all the knowledge you need to know in terms of what different e-commerce businesses are doing, whether it's a boutique e-commerce brand all the way through to dropshipping brand that is just kicking off super early stage, you know, just testing out products, you know, that, that's super early stage. And most people that are dropshipping would be at that stage. And, you know, you all the way through to scale ups, you know, maybe companies that have you know, received some funding, they're innovating in a specific product category. You can find all of their ads via the meta library, which is really convenient because you can see and you can reverse engineer exactly what your competitors are doing. And which is what we've done time and time again for Glorify. And that's just, of course, in the software category. And again, from my past experience working with e-commerce businesses, the same thing we've been doing in the past via the Facebook ad library now, Meta Library. So in this example, we have Gravistar. For those of you guys who are not familiar with Gravistar, so they focus on high performance gaming gear. A lot of like speakers and stuff like that, chargers, scan chargers, all the way through like accessories, like even ear, uh, Bluetooth ear, earbuds and uh, mic. Got their mic right here, I'm holding it, right? I would say they're in the boutique category. They're early, but growing really fast. And let's touch on, first of all, we're going to look at their website and deconstruct their website, right? I've got a couple of their products here as well. I've collaborated with them a few times on my Instagram. They are an amazing company. You can see something very particular about this brand, right? As you can see, they have a very particular style. You can see over here, we've got a very particular style running through these products. If you look at the products I'm holding, these are all from Gravistar. And all these products have, you know, you can say a cyberpunk slash kind of like maybe retro futuristic style that's running through them, right? So lots of references, lots of nostalgia. If you guys are a big fan of this kind of sci-fi theme and it's very consistent as you go through the site, you know, they've been featured they've in, in some powerful platforms. And I think, what are they selling? They're not selling anything extraordinary it's charges a mouse bluetooth earphone so this is something to make note of is like the success of any business in fact is really figuring out who your target is creating a a very sort of like responsive brand around that that really taps into that audience that particular audience and they've done it really well let's go through some of their product images as well you can see very simple images mainly focusing on photography with 
some text elements in there. Here's a great, you can call a, what we call in Glorify, a callout design or callout image with annotation lines. You can do this easily on Glorify. Again, just text effects, a few effects over here to show some elements of like connectivity and things like that. So overall, very simple design, very much focusing on photography. And you can see these elements over here, the images sort of highlighted in these little static graphics. Can we recreate those things in Glorify? Of course, you know, so you've got different custom shapes that you can implement and recreate all of these kind of designs. Again, some like mockups over here. Yeah, let's go and check one of their other products. Now, you've got an understanding of the website. You can see the sci-fi theme running through it. Now, based on that, when it comes to image ads, the whole point of image ads is retargeting in most cases. Yes, yeah, sometimes you'll be running image ads for cold strategies, as in you know, first-time customers and they never heard about you. But in a in majority of cases I've seen, they use it for retargeting because you know the customer has already built a relationship through the brand, through either an influencer, through some video content, cold ads, or they've landed on your website and now they've somewhat understood or have a touch point with your brand. They're familiar with it, whether deeply or just on a shallow level, doesn't matter. Now you can start retargeting them with image ads. If someone's landed on the website or they've seen a video piece, a content piece, then how can you leverage these image ads to remind them that this product is available? This product is up for sale. This product, you should buy this now while it's available, while the sale is there. And this is where you can see Gravistar, their image ads. Look at this consistency from the website to the image ads itself, familiar territory, a little bit of differentiation just to spark some curiosity and interest. But the main elements you can see over there is the same style running through it essentially. And on top of that, what's really interesting is they have an assortment of products. They're not just focusing on one just because they probably target specific pages. So if someone lands on a specific page, and this is an assumption, we don't know what's going on in the back end, but Based on what I see here, let's say a visitor comes on this page and they land on specific product categories, then what would happen is they could retarget those specific customers that land on those page via MetaPixel through the, you know, the cookie system via MetaPixel, that would be the code snippet that you paste inside of the e-commerce website. That data is being captured and we can retarget them with image ads, uh, those people that actually specifically landed on those product, uh, product pages. And based on that, you can serve them particular product bundles. And so you can see there's this grouping of products like chargers and earphones, Bluetooth speakers on one set of ad, and then the mice or the mouse in one set of ads, right? Another important element to notice is, yes, we've got consistency, we've got assortment and bundled products in, in, in specific images based on potentially retargeting customers that landed on specific product pages, or even maybe they've seen specific product videos, interacted with those. What we're also seeing is a compelling offer. And look at the offer, right? I'm gonna zoom into this. Of course, maybe my screen is a bit low, so I'm gonna run, go a bit closer now to look at the details, right? Look at these ads. There's a celebration, sixth anniversary extravaganza. So this gives an you know, assumption, like almost like social proof in a sense that, hey, we've been around for six years now. We've been operating and we're just excited about what we've been able to achieve. Based on this, we're celebrating with, you know, offering our amazing customers and audience a 30% off deal, right? And this deal is going to be available between the 9th and 24th April. So scarcity, 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 compelling offer, highlighted offer in big and social proof in the sense that, you know, not having to have a review, anything complicated. It's our sixth anniversary. We've been around for a long time. So it immediately gives a sense of trust. Let's break down some of these other adverts. We've got this Mars Pro, which is really cool. True wireless stereo, 5.0 Bluetooth, 15 hours. So more feature call out and then pricing. And the pricing again is based on a discount, discounted price, as you can see over here. And when is the, and then again, scarcity on the, the time range, right? Now you find sometimes these e-commerce ads overkill it, right? I don't know if you've come across these ads where you're seeing like big scarcity, like highlights, you know, in like this really awkward magenta color, just so that it captures the audience. Anyone can see this, right? If they're interested, I like that these guys are focusing on their branding and they're not breaking away from that brand, right? They are highlighting the, the elements that needs to be highlighted, but they're testing an ad. And 
a lot of the time as well, ads is about testing. Okay, this, just do note that this is not a copywriting tutorial or a webinar. You need a whole other webinar for copywriting, but also don't forget that of course, all image ads gives you an opportunity to communicate more through the copy itself. And that's another area that you can focus on to deliver a specific message, right? But yeah, they're testing an, an image ad here in the case that of uh, highlighting specific features. My guess here would be maybe the user doesn't have, is not entirely familiar with the product itself. And so they're focusing on a compelling visual of the product immediately and then uh, calling out those features so that potentially people who have never heard of the product would be like, wow, cool product. And it's got amazing features. Let me go check this out, right? Potentially could be cold. Let's, I'm sure there's a way to actually filter out retargeting and you know, there's, yeah. So I'll have to go through this, but I am not going to double down on like on that, but I'm gonna, I can filter out into image ads as well. But I, te I tend to notice that this doesn't work as well. When I start to add filters, it really narrows down the choices. And you can see here, there's a image design with just a photo, a photo of the product itself. And that's worth testing as well. So there's so many approaches when it comes to image ad, just image alone, you know, image product bundle with discounts, scarcity, et cetera. There's so much, so many ways to go about it. Features as well is another one. Again, here you can see the features being laid out for this mouse product. So yeah, Gravistar, great example. We're gonna move on to a new example this time. This time we're gonna focus on an example, a company that recently received some funding Opal Camera, huge fan of them. They're very early in their journey, but they've received funding. So they're, let's say, more privileged than a lot of like e-commerce startups like that are just really bootstrapping, starting from scratch with like, you know, like such as a lot of like drop shipping businesses, for instance, right? So in this case, if you look at Opal Camera, a lot of their content, like look at this one, right? This is so simple. It's just like image, <laughs> like that's it. That's where it starts, that's where it ends. It's just a really simple image. And the link goes straight to their product, the landing page. But what I wanted to focus on is these ones. Look at this over here. I Let me just open the image in a new tab. I should be doing that actually, there you go. If you look at this, let's break, this, break down this image. You can see over here, simple product display, nothing complicated, a little bit of branding. The first portable webcam, now $50 off. So discount, portable webcam, keeping it really simple and I like the way they're portraying the portability, which is the person's hip. It's almost like it's hooked onto their belt or their pocket area, just giving that sense of portability, right? So it's just a cool way of conveying that message. Let's open some of these other ones. Again, this camera I'm using, that this webcam that I'm using for this webinar is from by Opal as well. So I'm not picking these out of a vacuum. I do know these businesses quite well. Look at this, beautiful shot of the product, very simple. A webcam. So this is basically a testimonial, social proof. Some simple guidelines, uh, some simple important, important information that is compatible with Mac OS and Windows. The Verge is a very important tech publication platform or publication of news or content platform, right? They create amazing content around the tech industry. And yeah, let's go into another one. So really simple, just social proof. Again, social proof by Design Milk. Again, focusing on simple bits. Again, I feel like this could be very likely be retargeting ads and their actual cold ads are probably being delivered through video because video is really important to you. You need to use cold ads. You can get them to the moment faster by showing a video, but then you use image ads as quick reminders because that's the beautiful beauty about image ads. I think I genuinely think that it's better for retargeting because if you think about it, you'll be scrolling on Instagram or Facebook and you'll come across a video ad and you're like, wow, this is a cool product. It, you know, it takes you, there's an influencer portraying it. Like in this ad over here, you can see there seems to be some kind of influencer on it or like there's a compelling shot of the product, you know, whatever this product may be. And this is, in, in, in fact, this is actually a friend of mine. So they've sponsored his post, a video that he created of the product itself and they're sponsoring that post so that it gets reached. Very likely cold ads because people come across these ads and they'll notice in, it's it's coming from an influence account, the social proof off the bat, or it's just a very compelling video that showcases the product in its best light. You can see they're running ads directly from their account as well. And if they're doing all of this, then great, good for them. Essentially, they are capturing a wider net, a wider audience. People are hooked and getting them to land on there website to discover more. And once the cold ads are delivered in this way, then they can start serving them 
these beautiful image ads that we've been looking at, these ads over here, because these are like quick reminders, quick snappy reminders, like, hey, don't forget us. Don't like, look what Design Milk said. Look what The Verge said about us. Like there's more information that you needed to be considering. We're offering $50 off. So that's why image ads are really powerful retargeting because you've given them the whole story through the video ads and through the website journey. It's time to give them small bite-sized messages to return and consider joining the community, right? And that's what's powerful about image ads. Um, I'll do one more example, and then we're gonna go into Glorify. So three examples for this day. So Opal Cameras one. I want to do a, another boutique brand. Let me just try to ohm home. Yep, found them. Okay, these guys are awesome. Huge fan of them. Ohm.home. <laughs> They're based in Bristol. I know the founder personally. Yep. None of these are in a vacuum, guys. I've got a product of theirs right here. They create terrariums. That's what they're called. So terrariums, essentially creating this, you know, natural piece with moss. And, and this is a preserved moss piece. And they create these beautiful forms inside containers and jars and just presenting moss in a very compelling way or like a hotbed of like different natural things, right? So I guess the best, so I'm not doing a great job of, of describing what a terrarium is, but you can look that up. It is what you see over here, but it's beautiful, right? That's, that's my point. But going back into this, what's really cool about this particular brand, Ohm Home, their boutique brand, they're very early. I mean, they've been running for a while, but they're actually also very local. They have a store, a physical store in Bristol. And, you know, they focus on like a lot of local sort of sales and things like that. They do, you know, they have a very vibrant community in Bristol in the UK. And I think they've attracted an audience of people that are very into like, you know, eco-friendly type of products, plant-based, that kind of thing. Like, it, you know, I, I'm sure they have an array of audiences that, that are into this kind of stuff. And yeah, so that's, that's the kind of target they're targeting as essentially. But if you look at the ads, again, a lot of it is image ads. And that's what's interesting is that they are only focusing on image ads over here. And as I open these, let's go through each of them. Really simple. Now, of course, again, image ads, these ads, they're you know, most likely launched on Meta or some of them could be like display ads and different platforms. But this specifically, of course, I no doubt is coming from the ad library on Meta, but you could repurpose this, right, for other platforms. But in, notice is a square ad, a fairly okay resolution. The focus is the product and there's like just a little bit of text explaining, you know, the value of it, right? And that's all they have to do. Look at this, like when the product speaks volumes, then there's not much else you need to focus on. The stone prism, look at that, beautiful, right? In fact, I'd love to have that. I, I've got the normal prism, I'd love to get the stone prism. They've got the bulb terrarium kit. Images are really simple, right? It is what it says on the tin. They're not overcomplicating it. Okay, here's another one, an interesting take on this ad. So the stone prism, handmade in the UK, zero maintenances, maintenance ships worldwide. Three pieces of information that everyone has to know. The people are targeting, most likely they're targeting people outside of the UK as well, so that they understand that they can actually ship outside. Because not all of their products can be shipped outside. And so this information is really, really critical. Look at this one, this is really interesting. Again, image, focus on image. You know, the idea that this is a kit. Right, so we've designed a simple step-by-step. -step. So this is exactly what this product does. If you zoom into it, they're telling you through the ad that, hey, look, for you guys that are into these type of little bundles of nature packed into a beautiful package, right? You guys are interested in this, but guess what? You can discover our tropical terrarium kits. We designed kits that allow you to have, you know, turn this into a little bit of a hobby and build your own version, build your own terrarium essentially with our kits. And they've got images of the kit itself, like these beautiful packages and potentially like a, what, what could be the result after going through a bit of a craft session with their kits. This is what the outcome could be. So you're seeing the outcome, you're seeing the kit packaged beautifully in front of you. And so those people that are in that, ho that hobbyists could uh, you know, be really excited about that. Now look at this, placing the product again, important for split testing. They're placing it on a dark background as well as, as as on a light background. And I'm sure if I was to ask people within the this audience alone, we'll find so many people that could differentiate in terms of what they prefer. Do they prefer light or do they prefer dark? 
it's very likely that people have various opinions. So that is it for the ads that were launched by Omhon. We've covered three different variations, all of them focusing on image ads specifically because of this particular webinar. And what do we learn? Images, photography, really important. Try to focus on using image ads as a retargeting strategy. Think of the different pages they might visit within your e-commerce store and based on the pixel data that, you know, code snippets you've added in your e-commerce website, you can retarget specific people that reach specific pages in your e-commerce store and create bundled ads, you know, ads with an assortment based on the pages they've visited and retarget those, those individuals with the right products. At the same time, you can bundle products and create discounts make the discounts compelling, make them stand out, make them very clear to the user. Create scarcity in your ads by adding dates of when the deal is available for. Very important. You can do that through text as mentioned earlier as well. Folk, make sure that your designs are consistent the, with your website. So whatever theme and design and your branding style that exists on your website needs to be translated into your ads as well so that everything's familiar, so that when they come across the ad since they visited the website, it all clicks. Make sure that your retargeting strategy incorporates more information that they haven't learned from your cold content already. So the content that has attracted cold audiences, which has captivated them through the moment within that video. You've shown what your product is about in within 30 seconds, 10 seconds, perhaps over social media. These maybe you've commissioned influencers to create really quick, snappy videos. Great. You've captured the audience's attention on TikTok, Instagram, or wherever it may be. They've visited your website. Now you can need to retarget them with more information, information that they have not necessarily had time to communicate within your cold ads, right? And this could be reviews from important publications, social proof, reviews from you know important people you know perhaps celebrities or micro influencers etc whoever you're targeting whoever you've uh, you've been able to get involved or it could be retargeting with specific features and reminding them about your features of your product reminding them that it, it could be shipped worldwide it's got zero maintenance etc so all these pieces of information can come in your retargeting strategy and be delivered to the customer that's already had built a relationship with your products and just constantly sending those reminders for them to return, to return, to return. And that's where the power of image is coming. With that said, we will go to the next step, which is how to create e-com display ads in Glorify. There's a quick way and there's a slightly longer way and I'm gonna cover both of that today. So we'll go into glorify.com and if you're doing e-commerce graphics and e-commerce ads specifically, then I do recommend for those of you guys who want to get quick kicks out really quickly, just head over to our website and click give it a try. It's really that simple. You can also do this directly from the editor. You don't have to go through this method, but I'm just going to pull a product. I've got a product somewhere here that I can use. Let's try my, this little spaceman. Boom. Background remover does its job, crisp and clean crop every time. You don't have to even bat an eyelid. Uh, let's call it Space Space Geek. Imagine my brand is called Space Geek. Fun, cute, let's call it fun, cute. So description, fun, cute, space man in a dark suit, action figure, collectible, let's call it. Yeah, so that's the best way to do it, collectible. Put as much descriptions as you can and we'll choose which style we'll go for like a trending style i see this get in there boom i'm happy with that like just on that instant looks great you can actually shuffle the designs and try to come up with as many results as you wish we can try that too let's give that a go there's no harm in trying and again looks great right this is pretty cool and we'll try one more time. Yeah, cool, pink as well. And by the way, what's cool about this generation is that we also create video ads as well for you. So you can use this too. I'm gonna to shuffle the design one more time. I think let's stick to this design. So we've got a range of images here, some larger than others. These are more for like product images for your website specifically. We've got call out images for your features and you can kind of edit this to your need you know make them curved even if you want just to give it a bit more quirkiness depending on the product that you're selling and here's an image in the background for example we've got this video over here you can replace that too with something relevant so all this all these items are replaceable and certain things you need to replace individually which you can use the batch editor to fast track the process so let me show you how that works we're going to go ahead and select all these images at once 
We'll head over to the edit panel and you can see right on the edit panel, you can replace the entire product image if you wish. Let's say you have another product that you're working on. Maybe let's say this white spaceman that I have over here could be another variation of your products. We'll upload that, boom, like that. You've replaced it across all of, all of your ads. So we're gonna remove the background for that. And let's go ahead and change some of the text elements. We could add, for example, instead of embark on this cosmic adventure, we could make it a bit smaller. So shorten this to just embark on a cosmic adventure instead of have that like tons of text. We can edit this text. You can see it's slightly misaligned. So by clicking edit, we can actually edit all of them at the same time. And yeah, that works. Move it a bit down. This looks like it's meant to be a feature. So I'll just move this over here and we can just say Bluetooth friendly, but we don't actually need it. So you can remove the elements you don't need. So really fast tracking your design process is what's important here. And even here, you can add your logo. We're gonna actually replace this system by having ability to add your own logo if you already have a logo. And if you don't, you can actually, you know, generate the logo as we have done on the left-hand side. We've got a logo generated over here and you can simply replace the icon as well. So if you don't have a logo already, you can simply do that. Let's say replace it with like, spaceship boom and then once you've done that you can go ahead and replace the logos across the designs and to make it easier we'll switch these all over to images so you can export this logo and then you know batch select all the designs and replace the logo instantly we've got this image inside the shape over here so let's go ahead and replace that too with something relevant we'll go into pexels we'll type space and we can do something like that just to make it relevant of course you know Again, for your designs, you have to think of what you would actually use this for. Maybe you want to highlight a specific feature. It could be anything you want. I'm going to scale this up to show a bit of space there, or you can, of course, delete it even, or maybe send this behind the back. You know, it's important that you do customize this to suit your needs, right? And that's critical. Like, you know, yes, we've done the majority of the work with this automation, but you still have to do some design. Let's look at the banner ads. So these are leaderboard ads and we've got a vertical banner. This is your Google display ads, typical Google display ads. Here's your Facebook one over here. And let's delete that and put that over here, for example. Product needs to be always big. So whenever you do customize this, just make sure the product is a bit bigger and takes up as much space as possible. But over here, what I'm going to do is make sure that this is, is clear. And display ads like leaderboards and these small vertical ads are really small. They are very, very, very small. You're talking 728 pixels by 90 pixels, right? So that's why I was going back to what I'm saying. It's definitely not for cold ads, right? I mean, I don't know who you can convince with an ad this small, this tiny, that, hey, buy my product, this lo looks wicked. And you just see a tiny spaceman there or like any of these products we've seen, like whether it's this mouse or the terrarium we're speaking about by Ohm, you wouldn't be using this as cold as cold ads to new audiences. When I say cold, people that have never built a relationship with your uh, e-commerce brand, so they're completely new to you, to to who you are. In this instance, for example, I'm going to scale this thing down to fit canvas size. Boom! Here we go, and we'll delete that. And we're gonna oops, again, you'd replace this logo to suit your needs. Logo should be nice and big so it can be legible from far away. Text needs to be clear as well. So you want to do these edits as well and make the product as big as possible, even if it crops it a little so that you see the important parts of the product, right? It's more about just giving the message versus trying to make the sale, you know, and that's reminding them what the product is about, right? And as they see it, they'll recognize it. Oh, I remember this brand. I remember this brand. It's clear. It's clear cut. They've seen it before. The you know they've seen the brand from the e-commerce website. They've made that assessment like without thinking too much. It's a natural thought that comes to mind. Yeah, so it's like pure autopilot. They see this and they're like in their brain, their subconscious in fact tells them like this brand from this website I came across earlier is showcasing me ads. And it's just a constant reminder, right? And that's what you want to make these ads for. So that's optimized better, but you can see how fast you can design the Glorify. And to go back to the scale part, I mean, we already showed you elements of the scale part by showing you the batch creation. But again, this translates to then duplicating these, moving them along, changing the product to a different product category. Maybe you have a, a range of different products 
upload new asset spaceman boom remove background all the backgrounds get removed at once you want to change colors you can batch edit all the background colors at once which is again really cool right let's try to pick out that darkish color ah yeah so here's this one so you can change this into like a darker background background to complement this particular product so making it much darker look that really stands out now doesn't it um you know again let's go pick the whites in this design from the batch selection and we'll pick something like these beautiful gold colors that we see over here and ramp it up that's just the beginning like we want to make it a bit more stand out yeah so things like that you can make these these quick edits and i think maybe these elements are a bit too brightly yellow so what we'll do is we'll take these and make them gray or i would say the same color as this background but a bit lighter there we go so it's just making things complementary and look how fast i've been able to make these changes right it's insane and that's the power of you know batch editing with glorify all right going back to agenda we've done how to create e-commerce ads in glorify how to edit and repurpose your ads at scale showed you that so two things selling e-com ad packs on glorify's template marketplace now this will also cover another way to create e-commerce ads very efficiently inside of glorify if you go to your glorify account head exit the editor head over to template marketplace from here you can see we've just launched recently our new marketplace where designers from our community including our team as well are producing designs directly with our profiles and you can see these profiles for instance you can select these profiles go to the profile and see what templates these individuals have created see if they're a verified partner or not so hassan for instance you can see all his templates all these links and this is a huge opportunity for you guys as creators who may have like an entrepreneurial touch or has a design flair or perhaps even your marketer that just wants to build a passive income whoever you guys are the glorified template marketplace is a huge opportunity i'm going to show you some transparent stats in a moment but Hassan's created this entire library and he's making sales daily and not necessarily through the paid templates. There are some paid premium templates that he's listed over here. As you can see, look at this beautiful e-com ad pack, for instance, right? For $12, I think it's rightfully so. Look how high quality this thing is, right? But forget about paid templates. You know, they're making money off free templates. Why? Because with free templates, let me show you how it works. Let's pick a ad set and we'll kill two birds with one stone. We'll show you how to design ads really fast as well as how to showcase earning money through free templates inside glorify so let's go ahead and pick this really simple fashion ad right click get it now get it now you can see it's free to use and you just type put your email there what's really cool as you guys as a template creator if you get your profile listed with your templates listed in our platform then you get free leads via Lemon Squeezy. So you can sign up to Lemon Squeezy. We got the whole process laid out for you on how to do that. I'll show you that in a moment, but you actually get these leads that sign up to access your template for free. So you get a lead source and the cool thing about Lemon Squeezy, it does drop cart flows. It does email marketing all automatically. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this template. You can see now Hassan's reference ID has been added to the URL. That's his affiliate unique id when his unique id is there essentially what's end up, what ends up happening is that he tracks that as a potential customer or sale so i'm going to go add this template into my design i don't know why this logo is slightly broken there must be something wrong with it let's go ahead and check it out uh, maybe this has been an error and no, it's fine over here but on the presentation it didn't look right right so looking killer really simple logo the real really simple design and again, going back to this, look how simple it is to edit. Boom, select all of these things. I've got a different product, no problem. I can just go ahead, hit replace, and let's see if I've got a product that's relevant here, or yeah, I'll just use maybe even my, my handy dandy spaceman, why not? Let's, this guy over here, boom. Just like that, the image has been added. Of course, some of these images are repetitive and that's okay. You can go ahead and replace those individually. But again, majority of the work is done, right? And that's what's really, really cool about this thing. And you can undo, redo, and you know, just change them as you please. Again, same thing with, you know what? Let me do something else. I'm gonna replace this with a fashion product just to make it relevant. I'm gonna just pick something from Pexels. Yeah, something like that could do. 
for now as an example. Boom, just like that, we're able to add that. And I'm gonna double click this and maybe we can do like different angles of this product. So go to this ad, for instance, it's showing the same picture, which is not what you want really. What you could do is just show different parts of the product, like maybe a little detail. Start with the, the hat, then start with like the knee piece, jacket piece, and maybe some of these buttons could be called out. So you can also get really creative with a single image, right? You don't have to have necessarily have different angles of that image. You can just be as creative as you like and try to showcase tiny details by zooming in into specific areas of that product all on one image. Now that's an example. Then from this, we can go ahead and edit the text. Now I want you guys to notice this is men's Henley. Okay. Yeah. So we can't edit this text because unfortunately we don't have support for curved text uh, editing yet on scale, but that will be released really soon. But let's go ahead and edit this anyway. We'll call this, let's just call it dark night, dark night, something like dark night out came out with something completely random collection. Boom. Done. Click edit. And now I can edit all the fonts at once, right? Which is really cool. Let's do a more like premium type of font, like, yeah, a Borto looks really cool. And I'll scale this down so that all of it fits. Let's do like 20 and then increase it. Boom. Look at that. All of it scaling naturally at the same time. Perfect. Power of batch editing. So you might have to tweak some of these things and that's okay. It's normal. And as per the logo, again, like I said, we'll replace these with images so you can batch select and replace immediately. But to quickly see what this image is comprised of. So it's got a symbol over here and it's got curved text, right? So you can edit this curved text by double clicking it and typing whatever you like. Again, what we could do is take this text as an example and add that in there. And if it doesn't pan the entire direction, then I think it's a font issue as well. So let's go ahead and pick that font. And then we can use letter spacing to increase that, right? Perfect. Okay. And now color is really critical for these kind of designs. I'm going to take all of these and again, batch edit all of them at once and turn them into no doubt black is what would suit this. Boom. Just like that, we have a very thematic design going on. And again, you'd have to do these individual editings like I showed you on this design and just make those similar edits across all the different other designs that we saw on here. Yeah. So that is pretty much the process on design. I would make the backgrounds for these black as well, because I don't think these white lines are suited. I think these black lines will just make it more on theme, right? Versus these kind of white boundaries. So I'm going to click, I would click every canvas and change the background color. Fantastic guys. With that said, we're going to move on to the next part, which is what the process is on finding the right template inside of a marketplace and editing that array of templates, of course, available inside Glorify's marketplace. Just to remind you to be able to find the templates you want, just go through these categories and select them. And for adverts specifically, we've got an advert use case and you can go ahead and check out all these amazing ad designs for, I mean, look at this for e-commerce, right? Exactly what we spoke about, call outs, you know, big text, product focus, you know, all the elements you need for a compelling ad kit are available there. Uh, look at this one. Again, beautiful collection of designs in a very cosmos galactic style, let's say more retro styles. Again, if you want to, you know, base it on style, you can also filter by this go like, you know, do you want something bold or futuristic or retro? You've got a, a range of choices here. That's how you select your templates. Now, if you want to make money out of the templates under become a template creator, on selling templates, click learn more. And from here, you can see how to submit your template, the creator privileges as a new re retain full revenue. You earn from free templates using the affiliate links. Like I showed you, you have no template submission limits, especially once you get your first template approved. And you can see some of the approved templates and you can get inspired by them. The categories and use cases we include, the design guidelines for in terms of design, the fonts that you need to use, the adaptability, you know, the type of text you want to use on your templates. Uh, we show you how to uh, name your template via our unique recommended format. As you can see, this is really important to follow through to get the best SEO out of it. And then we create a purchase link of your template using Lemon Squeezy. 
We do require you to use Lemon Squeezy because it's the best way to sell digital products for free. It's free to use. It's you know it's just an incredible platform. Plus, it does email marketing for you. You collect leads. I mean, what more can you want, right? And then you can submit your template via this form. And it's a very simple form to go through. We could decline pen templates. It happens. And it could be mainly because of design or not uh, going through some of the guidelines we've set in stone. Uh, that's how you submit your template. Really simple, guys. Go ahead and do this. Now, just to show you a little snapshot of what you can achieve. This is from Hassan today. He was telling me that got more, got four more sales, right? And this is his sales inside our affiliate dashboard, $8, $137, $197. These are lifetime sales and subscriptions. Subscriptions are recurring revenue that he'll always see. We don't put a cap on it, 30%, it's yours, right? And that's what's powerful, guys. So look, definitely start getting in this opportunity. We're not going to stop with Glorify. We're going to keep going. We are going, of course, to maybe probably a slower pace, as you guys may notice, because you know we've been really building a lot. And you can see all these features. They're, they, they have huge impact. And we're only just getting started. We've just done the, as in the alpha for animations, which we're really excited about. Tried that out the other day, and it's phenomenal. We launched a video about it. I don't know if you guys saw the video. It's available on our YouTube. Check that out. Animations are really close by. And it's going to give you an ability to create very quick transitions. And if I want to show you what that looks like, I've got our front end ready to just quickly give you a preview of that. So this is what it would look like. And when you open the animation editor, like you see over here, you simply pull this, click these transition elements, and you can add or any transition with a single click and it'll animate, right? It's really that powerful. guys. I gave a shot on the alpha. It works smoothly. I'm really pumped for that. So again, the opportunity is there, right? So with that, with opportunities like this, what it means is simply that there's going to be more types of templates, categories that you can you know, earn money through. On top of that, all the marketing is done for you. Like we get beautiful stats on Glorify. I'll show you are some of our stats inside in terms of SEO. We're doing the marketing for you. We publish articles and we have a whole system behind this to get the most reach possible and hence why we're getting clicks, right? So if I was to open our SEO stats in a moment, you'll see this, this is open and we use Framer to build our site. And while we're doing that, we'll open Pinterest and show you how we promote these templates. So you can see this is our Pinterest account. We get 67,000 monthly views total. Look at these views, 88, 895, 99. These are templates, 257 views on this template, right? So people are viewing these templates and they wanna access it because they, I mean, it's, it's great templates. If I go to Instagram, you'll see we post the templates to our 9,000 followers over here as well. And you can see here's a showcase. Depend, doesn't matter who the designer is, we're happy to show these designs. This is from Final Touch Lab and we tag the accounts as well for you guys to get more reach. Let's go and check out some other aspects of how we can help you grow your template reach. If you type carousel, and this is how good our SEO is, template kit. And as you scroll down, boom, Starbiz Instagram Seamless Car Carousel Kitlet by Libor. It's right at the top, right? Instagram Carousel Template Kit is like a few keywords, very common keywords. Again, look how high up this is in Google Images. You get a nice preview of it right here, right? Killer. Look at the next one. Look, Starbiz uh, here again, Glorify again. In fact, if I was to scroll down, I'm sure I'll see more Glorify posts as I scroll down. Let's go ahead and see. Oh, there we go. Mindful carousel kit. That's Glorify, right? If in fact, if I type Glorify, you can see it's seven times in, the sing in this single search. I'm actually failing to see all of them. Oh, there's another one. Yeah. So we are getting reach, guys. So get in on the opportunity, publish your templates. We'd love to see them. We'd love want more template creators. And, you know, if you guys are Glorify fan, then this double reason of why you should be publishing templates with us. Uh, it's gonna help, no doubt, you know, there's incentive on us. We help grow our user base faster and there's an incentive on you because you earn a recurring income, passive income for yourselves. And it's just a w great way of earning that way. Um, we wanna be a very unique product compared to all the competitors out there in this space. We want to incorporate a full suite design tool within Glorify and we're only getting started because we've been really working the foundation. And from the foundation, we're going to transition into more AI features. You know, we're going to be going into things like one click, create a variation of a design, one click recolor, one click, 
you know, replace all the images through AI. Bringing, we're going to keep pushing forwards on the AI frontier to the point that we want to be able to create an entire ebook from a single text prompt, right? So literally your wish sh should be your command. You give our tool a text prompt, say something like, hey, generate me a lead magnet ebook for silicon cooking wear, and boom, you've got a whole ebook ready for you to go, right? And you can use that as a lead mag magnet to attract potential customers and build a leads list. So there you go, guys. The opportunity is there. That's it for this webinar. I'll take any questions. I know there's, you know, we haven't been advertising our webinars, let's say loud. It hasn't been very a noisy campaign. We've been keeping our webinar campaigns quite a low volume at the moment, just because, you know, we're just get building a muscle of webinars. We want to keep doing webinars bi-weekly and try to provide as much value as possible. And we're going to be bringing more people and guests as well from different industries and different spaces to contribute to these webinars. So do stay tuned. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, I know there's a few of you guys watching. Love to hear them now. Drop it in the comment section. I'll try to answer them as fast as possible. All right, guys, there doesn't seem to be any questions. I think I've been really clear. Hopefully that's been the case. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Take care. Bye.